In this short Premiere Pro editing tutorial, we're going to recreate this see-through or double exposure effect, or whatever you want to name it. This effect works best if you use a clip with a high contrast, with a darker subject in the foreground combined with a lighter background. So the most ideal scenario would be to have something or somebody in front of a white background, but shots with a high contrast might also work. Anyway, let's head over to Premiere and I'll show you how it's done. Inside Premiere I've got two clips that we're going to work with. The first one is a clip of a surfer on the waves and the next one is a clip of someone holding a camera. We're going to put the camera clip on the second track of the timeline. If I scrub to the timeline you can see that this clip has got a lot of light blue sky in the background and that is perfect for this effect. Next make sure that the track is selected on the timeline and then head over to the Lumetri color panel. First we'll go to the curves section. And then on the Luma curve we're going to crush the blacks and whites a little. This might look awful now but it's exactly what we want. Next we'll head over to the basic section and there we're going to increase the black and white contrast. First we're going to lower the black some more and increase the whites. And of course we'll lower the saturation to make it all black and white. And as a final touch maybe play around with the exposure. Now we've created the perfect white background and the black subject in the foreground. In the next step we're going to drag the second clip over to the timeline, right below the one that we just changed colors. Then I'll switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key and then cut the bottom track so it will match the length of the clip above. Then switch back to the selection tool by hitting the V key and then select the parts that we don't need, hit the delete key to remove these parts. Then make sure to select track number 2, head over to the effects control panel and there set the blend mode to screen. As you can see, this will make the darker parts of the image somewhat transparent. In this case, we might also want to increase scaling. This way you will increase the size of the darker area and increase the size of the double exposure. I will also enable keyframes for the position by clicking on this stopwatch icon here, then scroll back to the beginning of the clip and change position values so it will be more centered. And that's it for this example, let's do another one. In the next part of this tutorial we're going to recreate this effect. For this one we're going to use a clip of white smoke on a black background. For the double exposure effect this means that we first need to invert black and white. And to achieve this we'll need to move over to the effects panel and search for the invert effect. You'll find it under video effects channel. Apply this to the clip and now we've got black smoke on a white background. Then inside the Lumetri color panel we're going to play with the sliders in the basic section to create an even higher contrast. I'll increase exposure and contrast and maximize shadows and blacks. Something like this will do. And in the next step we'll add our second clip to the timeline. And also here I'll use the razor tool to cut off the track and delete the other parts. Then select clip number 2 and in the effects control panel set blend mode to screen. And this is what we've got so far. As you can see here the face of our main subject, the woman in this clip, is not visible. I'll fix this by mirroring the clip. Inside the effects panel search for horizontal flip. You'll find this one under video effects transform. Apply this effect to the bottom track and as you can see this mirrors the clip horizontally. And now all we've got left for this one is adjusting the colors to our taste. For this one I think I'll prefer black and white so I'll lower the saturation. Or maybe we could select the smoke clip and then go to the creative tab inside the Lumetri color panel. In there we could play around with the color of the shadows and perhaps give it a bit of a blue or purple tint. And we could also do the same for the highlights. And this way you can create all kinds of awesome color effects. Anyway, go crazy and be creative. Before we end this tutorial I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Envato Elements. All the clips that I used in this tutorial are part of the huge stock video collection that you can find on Envato Elements. They offer more than a million digital assets that you can download unlimited with just one single subscription.